Hi, this is a tutorial on how to uh, start up a private server for your Vault Hunters 3rd Edition. Uh, it gave me some big issues when I was doing it and I just want to uh, show how I fix my problems here. So, uh, first of all you install your Vault Hunters 3rd uh, Edition here uh, and then you install your Forge uh, server installer. You'll also want uh, your uh, Vault Hunter server zip file, and I'll link these in the description there below. But what you want to do is you want to go ahead and create a, uh, a folder on your desktop with where you want your server to be, and then we're going to open up this uh, forge installer.jar and we're going to install the server client for it. I'm using 1.18.2 because that's what the third edition of the uh, Vault Hunters 3 uses. So I'm going to select my directory here and I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to create all of these files inside of this <coughs> server here. So we'll do this here real quick. And it's going to populate all of your starting uh, server files here. So once this finishes we'll run this uh, run.bat file and that should generate your uh, EULA this won't take very long should be about done okay so then we'll hit the run.bat and this should create some more directories as long along with the UALA uh, we'll hit NAKTD continue we'll close that out We'll edit this file, we'll accept this EULA, and then we're going to run it again, and then it'll actually start the server, as well as create a couple more uh, folders here. So it created a server properties, you can see that. it's loading all these recipes. So now the server started as you can see and it closed out because it crashed. So what you're going to want to do in your server properties is you're going to want to change all of your settings to whatever you want and then obviously you're going to want to put in your server IP address and you can find this by going to your command prompt down here and typing IP config and then you will get an IPv4 address for your computer and you'll want to put in that it'll be a 192.168.1. something most likely uh, or it could be a 10.0.0. like 2 or 3 or whatever right uh, that's basic port forwarding stuff you should know how to do that if you're trying to create a private server if not there's plenty of other tutorials out there right so uh, I'm gonna help go ahead and hit don't save just because I don't have to do that right now, I'm just showing you. Uh, I'm going to extract everything out of this server uh, folder here. I have another server running right now, which is why that's open. So, <clears throat> so we're going to extract everything from this, and all of these links will be in the description, so don't worry about that. Okay, so this will open up your config mods and scripts folder. We're going to copy that into your server files here, and if it asks to replace any files, we're going to hit OK on that. Uh, you have to transfer over all of these files, otherwise you're going to get crashes when you try to run your server. So I'm going to hit replace the files in the destination, and if you look here, we have your mods are all in there, your scripts are in here, and your configs in here. So now we can hit the run.bat and then it should actually run the server and you shouldn't get any uh, issues with the uh, launching of it and everything should be fine and people should be able to connect to your server as long as you have done your port forwarding correctly again there's other tutorials on how to do that I'm not going to go over it there's 
literally hundreds of those videos. <clears throat> So, to, so if you notice here, uh, in the uh, console, it says that starting version check at a URL, and then it says found status, outdated, current, whatever, uh, and it'll try to grab the most current version of that uh, plugin or mod. Uh, if it is freezing at those sections, it's probably because you didn't copy over your config files or your mods folder correctly. Uh, th that was something that I got hung up on because I just transferred over the mods folder. If you just transfer over the mods folder, it will not work. You have to do the mods config and the scripts folder. And it does take a, a long time for this to run. <clears throat> it's perfectly normal. Okay, so now we can see that the server is open, and there's going to be a bunch of error codes of some stuff, uh, and that, that's fine. Uh, you can ignore those as long as your server's running. And then if you go in here, you can see that I have mine open. Now, one of the things that uh, other forum posts had said is you need to op yourself before you join the game for the first time. So uh, make sure that before you, you load up the game for the first time that you op your username in this console. So that's just OP and then your username of, you know, whatever it is, like fairy lover 27 or 25, whatever your your username is in Minecraft, right? So op yourself and then the first time that you load in, you should get a difficulty setting and you want to apply that difficulty setting. If that difficulty setting is not set already, then uh, you can go into your game here into your server, and this is one that's already been running for me. Might take a second. Okay, joining. might not like it because I'm running two servers right now. So I'm going to terminate this, this test one that I have going up right now. Okay, so you can see that this is one that I already have running. And if you did not set the difficulty or if you did not opt yourself before running the server for the first time and connecting, then you'll go in here and you'll type in slash um, the vault difficulty and then you'll set the difficulty there if you didn't get the prompt or if you opt yourself after you join it for the first time. So that's one issue that some people had uh, where they would connect to the server and they would crash. Another uh, problem that I had was um, if your server keeps crashing whenever you place down the altar for the first time, you need to go into your world file and then you need to go into the server config which this one isn't open because <clears throat> we haven't ran that. We haven't joined that game yet. So I'm going to open up my other one that I have open. And, oops, sorry, wrong folder. We'll open it up and we'll go into your world and then your server config. And then you'll find this ser forge server toml. And we're going to open this up. I'm going to edit in notepad. You can open it in regular notepad. And we're going to change this setting here, remove error block en entities to true. This is going to be false by default. We're going to set this to true and we're going to set this remove error entities to true as well because if it doesn't remove them, you're going to crash every time that you load up your altars. So that's another fix that I had. Uh, I didn't have any more issues other than just making sure that your uh, your mods, scripts, and config files were all transferred over. And then if you are having issues with placing down your altar, go into this uh, TOML file and make those two changes.